Hello, my name is Daniel Richardson. Welcome to the Daniel Richardson Show. Today, I will be talking about Nausicaa and the Valley of the Wind. So basically, this movie is about uh, Nausicaa, and she's a princess, and uh, she sort of has to um, figure out what's kind of going on, because uh, the human race is kind of fighting these bugs, or at least maybe not Nausicaa's uh, little group of them, but other people around the world are fighting these giant bug creatures and Nausicaa has to sort of navigate her way into figuring out what's what, why are these people attack or why are the bugs a little bit more aggressive now, um, and whatnot. And, um, and why is another group of people and why are other groups of people a little bit more aggressive than, um, normal um the bad guy in this film is played by Uma Furman and you know from Kill Bill and such and uh the actress who plays Nasita uh plays or is played by uh, the chick from Drag Me to Hell that Sam Raimi movie from 2009 or something like that so it's sort of uh and you know we follow her Throughout this adventure where she tries to figure out what's going on. And it kind of feels a lot like um, Princess Mononoke a little bit. Except not as good. Um, this is, I think, the weakest of the ones that I've seen. But to be fair to it, um, it is based off a of manga. And it's a gorgeous movie. Um, you can kind of say that about all these Studio Ghibli movies. Is that they're very nice and pretty to look at. It's just that... This film, and the only thing that it really has going for it is the animation and the voice cast. I really wasn't feeling the story that they were doing. Uh, I do think it has some good acting in it. Uh, the supporting characters are, um, one of them is played by like, Mark Hamill, but he's only in like a scene. Uh, you have Shia LaBeouf, who I don't think actually did a very bad job in this film. You know, and he was actually pretty good in that movie Holes from like 2003. Um, but, he, yeah, he does a pretty good job here, um, and, of course, Patrick Stewart, he's in this film and does a good job, too, uh, in his limited role, um, and this film, you know, has, like, an interesting premise, it's kind of a post-apocalyptic future, kind of, except it's actually a pretty nice post-apocalyptic future, except for the bugs and the fact that you have to wear, um, you know, uh, breathing masks in order to go around some of the more toxic areas of the planet. Um, this, you know, I'd still say is a pretty good watch. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not as good as I think Kiki's Delivery Service, but it's pretty good for especially a second movie. Um, this is, uh, uh, Miyazaki's second movie, and he does a pretty good job, um, and of course I'm excited to see what his other films, uh, provide, uh, for entertainment, because this movie was okay, um, it wasn't bad, nor was it as good as, I'd say, you know, uh, you know, Porco you know, uh, Porco Rosso or Spirited Away even. So, yeah. Well, let's just see what he has next. Um, Robert, God, he loves you very much and I hope you've had a very nice day. Bye.